Hello, this video is going to be on the Marvel Legends figure of Baron Zemo. He's part of the Captain America Soldiers of AIM group with the AIM soldier, and he comes with the Mandroid Build-A-Figure part, uh, the right arm. And in the side right here, they have uh, an image of Captain America. Same image, it's just uh, flipped for both sides. And then here's the back. And for Soldiers of AIM, it just says the brilliant minds behind AIM ruthlessly bend the laws of nature in pursuit of ultimate power. And then on the bottom or on the bottom half, you have the Build-A-Figure info for Mandroid. Um, it comes with uh, part number three. And uh, four, five, and six uh, come are actually already out. Uh, the torso comes with Black Widow, and the legs come with uh, either Winter Soldier or the Captain America in the, in the S.H.I.E.L.D. outfit, I think. So yeah. Before we get to Baron Zemo, I just want to show the arm for Mandroid right here. And you also get the instructions on how to assemble it once you have all of the parts. So here is Baron Zemo. He comes with two weapons. He comes with a sword right here, and he also comes with this little pistol as well. So kind of cool that he has two weapons and it looks like both hands can hold one of them specifically. And uh, I'll turn Baron Zemo around so you can see him from the back. Looking closer at Baron Zemo, this is actually Helmet Zemo. He's the son of the Baron Zemo that first appeared in the Avengers number four, which is actually Captain America's first Silver Age appearance helmet first appeared in Captain America 168. So a little gap between uh, their two appearances, first appearances. But um, yeah, I really like the look of uh, this figure. Uh, I think uh, Baron, not Baron Helmet uses the same headband thing as his dad. And um, he has these dual holster straps uh, that go around his body right here. Not sure if you could take this out, but um, but yeah, as you can see, I have him holding the pistol in his left arm and the sword in his right arm. And I'm not sure if you can put either into this little holster right there. It's actually, once you get either of them into there, it's actually really hard to pose the figure. But, um, but yeah, anyway, Baron Zemo's chest can go forward like that and back oh and the head can also rotate all the way around and it goes down a little bit but it goes up a lot more than it does down um and let's see the waist can spin i don't think the waist oh yeah the waist does kind of spin right here all the way around and then the legs have some movement as well along with the twisting at the thigh twisting at the thigh right here, and then at the knee, and then at the ankle right there. So just for a size comparison, here is Baron Zemo next to Black Cat. And these are actually the only two Marvel Legends figures I have. So yeah, <laughs> um, kind of just starting out with this whole Marvel Legends thing. And uh, yeah, I think uh, they both look nice. I mean, obviously Black Cat looks really nice. Um, Baron Zemo's cool. I just, um, I mean, it's just two different kinds of, of characters. Um, obviously I don't have a Spider-Man figure, but I think I should go get one. So it looks, uh, paired up well with, uh, Black Cat. I don't think these two have ever crossed paths in comics. Um, though I'm not really entirely sure. Um, so yeah, um, really nice pickups if you can find them. Uh, below cost. Um, Baron Zemo is really cool, especially if you just like the comic book characters. I think that's what I'm going to be doing, is just collecting comic book style Legends figures instead of focusing on movie figures. Anyway, that's all for Marvel Legends Baron Zemo, so thanks for watching.